Hi there. Now, here we've got an example that you might like to try on recurrence relationships. I'll give you a moment to pause the video if that's the case, and then when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Don't forget you can always check out any video tutorials on my site on this kind of topic, recurrence relationships. But for this one, we've got to find the value of the first term, A1. And it's quite unusual because we're given the second term. So to do this, what we need to do is just set when n equals 1 into our recurrence formula here. So when n equals 1, we get A2, the second term in the sequence. So A2 would be equal to 5 times A1. That's 5 times the first term, minus 3. So we know the second term, it's 7. So therefore, we've got 7 equals 5 times the first term, A1 then, minus 3. And if we add 3 to both sides, we therefore get 10 equals 5 times the first term, A1, and divide both sides now by 5. And you get that first term, A1, equals 10 divided by 5, which is 2. OK, so that then is part A. Just put that in there. And to do part B now, find the value of sigma, r going from 1 to 4, of A, r. So in order to do this, what I'm going to do is just write out, first of all, what we're given. I'd always tend to do this when I've got sigma notation. So we've got the sum of r going from 1 to 4 of all of the terms a r. So this is short for saying sum up a1 when r equals 1, the first term, with the second term, a2, the third term, a3, and the fourth term, a4. Now we know the first term, we've just worked it out, it was 2. We know the second term, we were told that it was 7. But we don't know the third and fourth terms, so we need to get those. So let's just come up through here, say. And if that's the case, we can get the third term, a3, when we set n equal to 2. So when n equals 2, what we've got is a3 is exactly the same as 5 times a2, 5 times the previous term, minus 3. So that's going to be equal to 5 times a2, which was 7, 5 times 7, minus 3. And that comes to 35 minus 3, which is 32. So we've got the third term, 32. We just now need the fourth term. And we can get that then in much the same way, only this time when n equals 3. When n equals 3, we get a4, the fourth term, equals 5 times the previous term, a3, minus 3. So you've got 5 times a3 which is 32, and then minus 3. Work that out, and you end up with 157. So just have to add that fourth term in, 157. And if you add these terms up, you end up with 198. And there you go. That's how we get the sum, then, of the first four terms.